For me, the perfect day to be painting, to be in my studio, creating no interruptions and just work. Sadly to admit, there's a period of my life where I did not paint for about three years, and it was a dark period in my life. And I wanted to paint, but for one reason or another, at the moment, it was not available to me. I came from Chicago to Arizona. We landed, the door opens, and the heat just hit me. It was so hot, I have never experienced this. It filled the need, and that was bright light. Colori vivace, the vibrancy of the colors, the flowers. It's a beautiful place that it urges me to produce, it urges me to create. To me, the challenge is to have a blank surface and to create something that will have the balance and composition with a combination of colors. Uh, one of the things that has been prevalent in my work is that I use newspapers, you know, mixed media. I use newspaper from Wall Street Journal to New York Times, LA Times, Chicago, Italy, Spain, France, England, Germany I've used, and then of course Belgium and Holland and Western European countries. I use the main newspapers. I use mainly the economics taking place in the world, the collapse of the stock market or the collapse of the US dollar or some major event. In this particular series, you know, the flag, I knew every square inch of that painting before I even started. I have the laid out already in my mind, and then I just execute it. In some paintings, I work very fast. In some paintings, I go much slower. The speed of which I work, it depends on the painting, and it's, to me, it's automatic. I simply respond. It has its own driving force, and that's what brings the excitement in the temple. The greed, the love of money, trumping everything else, love of family, relationships, friendships, anything. I see also the lack of respect, honor for home, for country. This is my opinion, this is what I feel, and I put it into the canvases. Many of battles have been won with not enough soldiers. Looking at old reels, black and white news reels, I remember how grateful the people would be. They arrived with nothing but their clothes on, whatever they had on. Their pockets were empty and their hearts and minds and hope they were full. Looking forward to the future and a new country with great opportunities. 
It's America. And so they say, in God we trust, but they don't really trust in God, they trust in the almighty dollar. And I wanted to depict just that perfectly clear in my work. And it's a very young country. And as fast as we came up, I see the United States has no longer been so united. United we stand, divided we fall. We are no longer the United States of America. It's broken, it's different now than it was before. We are split into two groups at least. I hope we can be one people. Nevertheless, it remains to be seen. The United States is not just about money and opportunity. A home is inclusive of love, is a family. Peace in the future. Art has given me a vehicle an accessible venue to escape to, where I can find peace. It is an intimate expression of what is in me for all to see. Mm -hmm.